Hi guys. <clears throat> I am early. It is not even 3:30 yet. It's almost, but not quite. So I'm early today because I usually don't start about till four. Usually. So you should be proud of me today. I even got lipstick and powder on and everything for you guys. So a little better today, but today I got up and the strangest feeling that I've not, I've only had, you know, when I'm really dehydrated, but besides that only had once and that's when I get sinusitis or whatever it's called. I was super, super dizzy. Like, I couldn't even walk from, like, here to there without about falling over. And I'm, like, still a little woozy, but it's going away now, thankfully. It's actually starting, you know, to feel like it's going. Because <laughs> I thought I was going to have it all day long, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, what is this? What is going on? It was freaking me out. And my pupils, I went to the bathroom, looked at my pupils. I thought maybe I was going to get a migraine. Because I had a headache at the beginning, too. And I, I thought, oh, I'm going to have my migraine shot. Then I thought, well, no, let me try some aspirin first. So I um, took a couple aspirin. And I can't remember if I took a nausea pill with it or not because I was feeling kind of sick. You know, when you feel dizzy, then it made you feel sick. And it was just real woozy. And anyway, I went to the bathroom, my pupils. They were going from real tiny to real big, real tiny to real big, real tiny to real big. This And it was like freaky looking. And it felt so weird. It was just like every time they did that, was, my head was just like, whoa. And I felt, felt, I don't know how many times. I'm like, what is going on with me? And my headache, um, it didn't get no better with the aspirin. So a Sherm came in and gave me my um, shot. Um... I can do it myself if I do it in the leg. I can do it in the arm, but it's really difficult. And I tend to bleed really bad when I get it. So, And I, you have to kind of give it in the back of your arm, so it's kind of hard to do. And I really didn't want to give it in my leg because I thought, you know, it seems to work faster if you give it in the arm. And I could feel it immediately going right to my head. And it helped with my headache, of course, like it, it always does. I love them. I, I gotta write that on my paper to tell my doctor and thank her for giving me those. I keep forgetting to. I've been there once since then. And I forgot to mention it and I was like, oh my gosh. I forgot to tell her how much those shots helped me. So much, so much. The pills wasn't doing anything. And they, but like the shots have really changed my life with the migraines. I mean, it's. You could just feel it immediately start working in your brain. I mean. It's weird, but it, it helps. It works good. Um, yeah, so it just kept up. But the headache got better, but the dizziness was still there. And I don't know why, but it's finally starting to... Um, go away. I just seen somebody walking up the sidewalk and I think I know who it was. What? See if you hear somebody go in Garnet's door. I think it was Kara or Cara. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. It's so embarrassing. It's spelled C-A-R-A. And I don't know whether to say Kara or Cara. I don't want to look stupid. But she looked like she had lost a ton of weight. She looked really good, sure. She, she was always beautiful anyways, I thought. But she looked like she had lost a lot of weight. I seen on Facebook where she had been walk she's been walking a lot and stuff. And I thought maybe she was trying, but you know, I wasn't going to ask. Because I was trying, and you know how that goes. I just wished I had her willpower, because, wow. She's looking really good. I know that was her. 
because I've been seeing her pictures online and she's, I can really tell that she's losing weight. She's looking really good. Of course she did before, like I said. I just wished I had that, um, her willpower and motivation. At one time I did, and I did so good, and I hate myself so, so much for giving up. My doctor was so proud of me, and I didn't go to the doc after I had got into a bad depression and fell off the wagon, I guess you could say. I had lost over 50 pounds. And I, I, was, I went from not being able to hardly walk at all to being able to walk over a mile a day. And I still could have walked more and more if I wanted to, but I wanted, I just timed. Yep, that's her, I think. I still um, timed, because she just walked back out. I, um, I had one of those pedometer thingies, whatever you call them, and I would, uh, you know, just record to a mile, then, you know. I put my mile down for the day, but other time would just keep walking, you know, certain days. I could walk more and more. I could walk more than just a mile, but I was walking a mile every day at least. And I felt so good, better than I have in my entire life that I can remember. Um, I felt so good. My health was so much better. My doctor was so proud of me that she said she was going to have me be a spokesperson for it because she said, you know, how are you doing it? And I said, I'm just doing what you told me to do by watching my calories and stuff because I never really knew, you know. I, uh, my, I always did these fat-free diets and stuff and nothing ever seemed to help. And my doctor said, you know, you know, you got to watch your calories and try not to have um, over 2,000 or whatever. For me, it's like over 2,000 now because of my weight. But um, I tried not to have over 1,500 calories a day. And my doctor said, it probably feels like you're not getting enough. You probably feel hungry. And I said, sometimes I, I get hungry, but I, I, got, I really got used to it. And uh, um, little stuff, smaller stuff would fill me up more. And I would start craving, um, like, healthy stuff for me instead of junk. And, like, if I wanted something really sweet, I, I wouldn't deprive myself. I would get um, chocolate um, yogurt ice cream at Kroger's. You know, their they're brand for, like, 99 cents in, in a little box you get. And it's the yogurt, so it's better for you. And I, you could put, like, two tablespoons of that in a waffle cone and have that for 150 calories. So when I was wanting something really chocolatey, which I crave, a lot, so but I didn't eat it a lot, but I, I crave chocolate a lot now. But then I um, did that, and it would satisfy my sweet tooth. And I was so proud of myself. I kept a journal of what I had ate and how much I had walked every day. And I did so good. And then I went into a bad depression and started eating and not walking. Got worse than ever gained back to 50 pounds plus some plus a lot probably over a hundred pounds I gained back I went to not being able to walk hardly at all again I can barely get from the farthest I go walking is from um, our apartment to the curb out here to get to our vehicle um, or from the waiting room at the doctor's office to her room, which is not that far. That's the farthest I walk without my wheelchair. And it's not just because of my lungs, because it takes my breath and my heart, but the pot syndrome races so, so fast, and I get sick when I'm up for too long. And But I know that would get better because... When I was walking here a while back, trying to walk up the hallway at night to get a little bit of exercise when I was trying to diet, and I was losing weight, I'd lost nine pounds. The, I, when I first started walking the first few days, I would get deathly sick. I couldn't even make it halfway up the hallway. I'd get deathly sick and have to get back to the apartment and get to the bathroom, and I'd be throwing up violently. It was, I mean, that, that's how bad it is now. It was like that when I first started, but about a um, few weeks after I started to a month, I was on the diet for a month, I lost nine pounds. 
maybe about two weeks after I had started, I was able to walk the whole hallway and back and not get sick anymore. So I know that pot syndrome would get better if I could just, and I, it's just, I don't know. I wished I was able to walk, to walk to get exercise with my lungs. It's hard. The pot syndrome makes it even harder with my racing heart and getting sick. But I know that would get better. And I know it would be better for my lungs if I lost weight. And but my back, where it swells up at the bottom, ever since I rolled down my sister's steps years ago, um, I've had like a knot on the bottom of my spine that swells up clear across my tailbone. And every time, you know, I'm up for less than three minutes at a time, it swells up really bad. And I c you want to drop to the floor bawling in pain. That's how horrible it feels. And I'll like twist like this every so often and it'll crack real loud, like my hips cracking or something. But it pops all the time. And by watching these chiropractor videos I've been watching, I think it's my sacrum, the thing that's right above your tailbone. Because my I had my doctor x-ray my tailbone to check my tailbone to see if I'd hurt it when I fell down the steps, maybe. This was years before, but it had been acting up ever since then, because back then I was scared to death of the doctor and wouldn't ever go. <clears throat> but she said my tailbone was fine, so now I learned that your sacrum is what they usually try to fix at the chiropractor. But when I went to the chiropractor, all they did was put a massager on that area down there and push on it. They didn't do the correction that I see them doing online. And I don't know if they could even do it on me because I'm so big, you know. I don't even know if they'd even let me on their tables now because I'm sure they got a weight limit. But, yeah, anyway, I was afraid, back to the story, I was afraid to go back to my doctor after I had went into the depression and gained all that weight back. Um, I hadn't been there in months because I was so ashamed and I did not want to disappoint her. And the day I had to go back, I had to, because I think I had a really bad UTI and I had to go get antibiotics. I, she was so disappointed. And I could see see it in her face. She was just trying to hide it from me, you know. But she was, and I broke down and started crying in there because I felt so ashamed and so worthless for not being able to stick to it. And now, these years later, I'm like, you stupid idiot. Why didn't you stick to it? You was doing so good. And I try and try again, and I, I don't eat, some days I don't hardly eat nothing because with my gastroparesis, my stomach disease, some days all I can eat is this applesauce or crackers, but I drink um, Pepsi. I was, when I was doing that diet, the first one and the one here a few months ago where I would lost nine pounds, I gave up pop was drinking coffee, but it's hard for me to do because coffee, on, I can drink it sometimes and I'll be okay, but a lot of times it like upsets my stomach and it makes me sick and then I'll just throw it right back up. So I don't really work that well with coffee. So I know a lot of my calories come from Pepsi come from pop because there's 150 calories in a can and of course where I'm just pretty much Im immobile where I'm just sitting here all the time is not you know making the weight come off <clears throat> but um... I don't know I just I see them advertising these new diet pills on on TV, this 
Bel Belvic or something it was. I was going to ask my doctor about it. I'm like, oh, I can't believe this. It's supposed to um, help you lose weight and help keep it off. And I thought, oh, okay, I'm going to ask my doctor about this. And then at the end, it's like, tell your doctor if you take any medications for depression, any antidepressants, any migraine medicines, and blah, 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 because it could um, have severe fatal uh, side of consequences, side effects, blah, 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 whatever. And um, I take all of that. So I thought, of course. So, and I thought, well, what's the chance of it working anyway? I really wanted to have the gastric bypass done. I qualify for it. My doctor wants me to have it done. But the only place that you can get it done around here closest is Columbus. And I can't never find anybody to take me there because you have to go several times. I went to one of the seminars. A transport place won't take you because the seminars and stuff are not paid. It's They're free, so they don't get paid for it. So I can't take the transport place. I've already asked. So, you know, in case anybody thinks of that, I've already been through that. Um, I got to go up there once. My sister took me. Um, we went to the seminar. They was they was calling me, wanting me to come back in like a few days later, because I was like one of the biggest people in there, and. Um, they was wanting me to come back, and but you got to go to like a nutritionist like four times, a psychologist like four times, and then to these certain different doctors to get all these tests four or five times, and there's nobody would take me to Columbus all the time like that, and I, I don't blame them, you know. Who would want to go back and forth to Columbus all the time, you know? Um, and our our vehicle would not make it. it barely makes it to Jackson and back and we hardly ever get to go to Chilo Coffee. The only time I ever went there is when I got Dottie's medicine at the vet that she was at, which we go to a different vet now, closer in Jackson. And um when I went to the Dollar Tree, but now they got one of them in Jackson too, so we don't I don't have to go back to Chilo Coffee anymore unless we go I go to the hospital for my doctor appointments. So because our transmission's going out of our truck, and um, yeah, so it like does not do very good going to chill a coffee and stuff. Um, I made some stones last night. I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. I thought I'd make some stones. I've been wanting to for a few days, and I hadn't. I kept putting it off. I'm like, uh. I don't feel like doing it right now, but I did make some last night. I think I made six, guys. I got these offline. Well, Cindy got them for me. I'm going to pay her back for them. Excuse me. I got a bundle of, um, excuse me again. Get that out of there. That's for my friend for her birthday. One of her gifts, I'm wrapping her up. Um, I got this for my friend off there. She's a she's a nurse at my doctor's office, and it's an it's an old um, it's an old badge, and it's about nursing. I thought it was cute. I thought she might like it to wear on her outfit. But um, I got they had this. She had this box of stamps. I couldn't still tell if they were stamps or stickers. But all this stuff came together for three dollars, and it had. And lots of necklaces and stuff in it. I gave them back to Cindy so she could sell them. I basically just wanted these um, stickers or stamps and this little nursing badge for um, my nurse at the doctor's office. But these are all stamps, and I was going. I wanted them to put in stones, so I'll show you guys stamps I got. These are all from 1998 because they're all dated and stamped on. They're, they've been used. 32 cents, guys. Remember when stamps were 32 cents? 1998. <laughs> Here's a hamster. <laughs> and I thought, is that off Bolt? And then I'm like, no, because that's 98. I don't think Bolt's that old. I don't, I don't know. It might be. I don't think it's that old, though. No. I don't, Bolt can't be that old. I graduated in 98, and I know Bolt 
came out long after that. But they're some kind of hamster. And this one is American Realism. It's a woman sitting at a cafe table. I don't know, some of these might not even fit in wholly in the stone, like this one here. It's a ballerina. It says ballet on the side of it. I'm, I might be able to get part of the ballerina in it if I use it. Ugh. This one is a boxer, but his name has been tore off. It says Jack something, 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 title looks like 1919 or 1918 but anyway it's, he's white and got brown hair and looks like this so an old boxer it's Jack, Dempsey. Jack Dempsey I thought that kinda said Dempsey because my cousins are Dempsey's and my aunt's a Dempsey and I thought that looks like it says might say Dempsey and I'm like no so there was a Jack Dempsey boxer then I would say that's Jack Dempsey this one I really liked. Um, it's called Construction Toys. It's got a little boy flying um, a little airplane he put together and it says toys up above it. I thought that was really super cute. That'll look cute in a stone, I think. This one is a hummingbird and a flower. I could pretty much put all of it in. Green-throated carob. And there's just another ballerina one, same as the last one. And a yellow rose, my mom's favorite color rose, yellow. And this I thought was Elvis Presley, <laughs> but it's not. It's um, F. Scott Fitzgerald. And the other one is, I don't know, guys. It looks like it might be Mars with some kind of uh, traveling thing running on Mars. I don't know what it is, to tell you the truth. But there's that Fitzgerald guy and there's that other one. Um, there's I got another one of this Fitzgerald guy too. Actually, right here. It's just a single one by itself. And I got this heart. That's not a stamp. Yeah, it is. It's like stamped on there, like a, like a stamp, not a sticker. Anyway, it's a bunch of hearts. And um, a crested honey creeper bird with a flower. And last but not least, my second favorite is Jacqueline Cochran Pioneer Pilot, 50 cent U.S. stamp. And another one is the governor of Puerto Rico. Louis Manoz, Manoz, Marion, I don't know, but it was five cents. So I'm going to use those two separately, of course. I'm going to definitely put both of them in a stone. Most of these were dated all the same day, too, like October 2nd. Like somebody got a lot of mail or sent out a lot of mail on that day. And most of them say from Zaleski, Ohio. Of course, the woman I got the stuff off of, I think she lives in Wellston. So, she lives in Wellston or MacArthur. Because they meet at the lot in Wellston. <laughs> and this little clip came in with the stuff. Thought I'd put on a bag of chips or something. And this little thing, I can't show you guys. Because my friend might watch this vlog and it's for one of her birthday gifts. And it came in this little box. All of the stamps. And when Sherm gets in here, I'm going to show you guys my stones. Because they're over there. <laughs> On my stand where I had them drying last night. And then I will end the vlog because it's getting pretty long. But I might make some um, more stones later tonight. Out of them stamps and then I'll show you guys what they look like tomorrow. They're, they're a little bit difficult to do with the stickers. I used stickers last night. The ones that you'll see here in a few minutes I done with stickers. Lisa Frank stickers to be exact. But um, those ones there I'm going to try to use tonight are just stamps. And 
they're harder to use because when you use your base coat and then you stick it on, because um, that's what makes it stick to the stone, your base coat nail polish or nail hardener, same thing. Um, they'll get like bubbles in it or they'll like get wet and you have to make sure you press it down where you want it and get all the bubbles out where you want it because there's always going to be some left in there and then you got to make sure you got all the edges put all the way down because when you start painting the back of it if you don't it'll run into the stamp and get all over the front of it I've had that happen okay Sherm brought me these stones thank you you can see them too Sherm, Sherm hasn't seen them yet you don't want to look okay first one guys is a sapphire background with a hot air balloon with two golden retriever puppies and a kitty cat. I was making these size stones and rings, but <laughs> everybody likes the small rings better now, so see I did sapphire background. You can tell it's really pretty blue. It's actually really prettier in the person. But, um, so I think I'll make these into magnets. I don't got any more magnets right now. I have to buy some more sometime when I get extra money. This one I did in a hot pink neon background. It's a little, um, pink elephant inside of a Lisa Frank backpack. Thought he was cute. This one I did in the sapphire background as well. And it's a little pig. It was swimming in a swimming pool, so I used a blue background. He's floating on a float ring. Pinky pig. This one I used a sky blue background, but you can't see much of the background. <laughs> most of the stamp or the sticker fills up most of the stone. It's a frog blowing bubbles with a blowing a bubble with bubble gum. And it's got a bubble gum machine beside of her. You know it's a girl because look at her pretty eyelashes. And I love the frog and I love the bubble gum machine and the bubble gum. It's cute. This one's hot pink as well. And it is two kittens with some flowers. And the last one. I did with ruby red glitter polish and I used a tie-dyed heart peace sign. You can't really see the red sparkles that well, but it's really sparkly and glittery red. And I like the tie-dyed heart. So wouldn't that look cool in the refrigerator magnet? I think it'd look cool. That'd even look cute as a necklace, I think, this one any of them really if you wanted one. Um, I still got some necklace pendants. Not very many but I still got a few. But those are the stones that I did guys. So this video is almost 30 minutes, half an hour. I apologize. I was basically waiting on Sherm to get done so he could get me these stones. So I was kind of trying to ramble on. What are you doing? Put them back. Oh, I thought you was going to look at them. Um, so I will let you guys go, and tomorrow, God willing, if I get them done, I will show you guys the stamp stones that I did. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, and God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with a new vlog. Bye, guys. God bless.